it's Julian here from Connections Earlier's Family Center and we are here in our good friend's garden for another outdoor learning video. Again, we still have some snow on the ground so we're going to make use of it while it is here because so far this has not been a very snowy winter here in Windsor. But that's okay, we have three different activities for you today to take advantage of the snow while it's here um, and to really work on some bonding time for you and your little one where you can get great playing time with them and really engage with them because we're lucky enough to have the snow to really help with that this week. So our first activity is snowballs and I know some of you might be thinking, you know, snowballs aren't allowed in some places. Are you sure they're safe? But the important part is to teach that safety before you start doing your snowball activity. When we're making snowballs, we are always sure that we never throw them at anyone, especially not near anyone's face. We always want to be very careful that we're throwing them somewhere that is not going to hurt anybody. But it is a good activity because it involves gross motor skills as you're packing this snow together. And if the snow is maybe a day old like it is right now, you can probably hear our birds chirping about the snow. You can always mix some water to make it a little easier to turn into snowballs if it's not quite as easy as it was when it was freshly fallen. So there are two different ways we can do our snowball activity. One of them, so we have a snowball. I have some hula hoops out on the snow. Maybe you just want to practice seeing where you can throw these snowballs and see if you can get them in the hoop. And again, it sounds quite easy for us, but for your little one, it's not as easy as it sounds. Also, if you want to make it a little more difficult, you can really spread these hoops out to make it a little bit harder. Another option you can do, and we used to do this on the side of our house as children, and you're not aiming towards windows, you're not aiming anywhere that's going to break, just a nice brick wall, is you want to see maybe how high you can get it. And again, we're not damaging anything, but it's just a fun little competition to see who can throw the snowball the highest. It's actually working on a lot of great muscle groups and physical coordination to be able to throw that ball that high which will eventually be a great learning experience and skill to have for things such as baseball, football, or any other sport that involves throwing. So it's a great way to get outside and get working on that coordination using the snow. Another great activity that you can do in the snow is a snow construction site. Um, because it's not really the time of year to have some sand out, the sand would freeze. We don't really have any mud, but we still have all of our great construction toys such as these big trucks, some pails, pylons. So why not make use of them even during this time of year? So maybe we're gonna drive our trucks in. We can fill them up with snow. We can really explore the texture of snow here and how it packs in a different way than sand does. Push it down. Maybe they're gonna drive a little bit over dump that snow. Maybe we're going to make a heap here. Maybe we're going to make a full-on snow castle over here. This is a little hard with mittens, but that's part of the fun. Maybe we're going to put some pylons on, which is definitely hard with mittens. Mark off our construction area so no one goes through there. And if we wanted to, we could always add some shovels or some twigs or some wood to mark it off a little bit better but the idea here is you're doing this imaginative play that's really exploring and allowing your child to explore the different kinds of play they can do with snow and its texture and properties while using toys they're familiar with and also engaging with them to make it a very exciting activity where they get to spend time with you as well and this is just one of the many ways that you can also bring your indoor toys outside to really get um, the most use out of them, explore them in different seasons, um, and also just let your child build because that's one of the best things about this activity is you let your child from as young as maybe a couple months old watching as you build in front of them or watching as things get bigger and smaller and break apart to maybe your child who's two or three years old or maybe up to six 
who can probably build some very amazing things, and this is just some more practice for them. So lots of fun here, and I hope you have your own snow construction site uh, at your house. And our last activity that we are going to be talking about in the snow for today is shoveling snow. And for some of you, when I say that, you might suddenly conjure up images of chores and not liking snow shoveling very much. But snow shoveling is actually very good to do with your child for a number of different reasons. And here are some of them. One of them is it's a good physical skill for them to build. It takes a lot of work to see this up and again. I'm not saying take your child who's six months old, a year old, and saying get up there and shovel our sidewalk. But it's something that they can watch you do, kind of learn and process through watching you do it. And when they're a little older, maybe a year or two years old, you can also get a smaller shovel for them to mimic you as you go. Or they can help hold on to the bigger shovel and they can do it with you. It's a lot of physical work. If you've ever shoveled a lot of snow, you probably know it really makes your muscles hurt the next day. So even if they're helping you out, not doing a lot of work themselves, it's also a good physical activity for them and they get to do it with you and feel important and get to feel some of that responsibility for helping out um, the person that they want to help out the most. Another reason why we want to promote maybe doing some snow shoveling with your child is it's a great way to teach them about responsibility and helping others. So if you've ever been in the situation where you shovel your neighbor's sidewalk because maybe they're a little more uh, elder than you or maybe it's something that they have trouble doing themselves, it's a good way to start teaching your child about how to help others and how to do that on a very easy and simple but also meaningful way. So get outside, enjoy the snow shoveling while it is here and be sure to take your little ones with you. So that is it for this week's um, Friday Outdoor Learning video, exploring three different ways to get outside in the snow and really enjoy that quality time with your little ones as well as learn lessons such as how to build snow, learn about different ways that snow moves together and also how to help people around you by simple fun acts such as shoveling snow. Um, I hope you guys give some of these activities a try and enjoy the snow while it is here. Um, and just a last minute reminder that we are still working on those connections to go packages. We're making sure that they're ready whenever anyone calls and inquires. So please um, give us a call. We have different resources in them every week and it's a package that you can pick up bi-weekly which means that even though you pick it up once a couple weeks later we'll have another round ready and you can pick up a different package with new resources, new fun activities for your little one and a new book to take home for yourselves. So again please make use of these. They're lots of fun um, and we'll have activities from everything from our outdoor play to our indoor physical literacy and lots more. So please check it out um, and if you give any of these activities a try, make sure to let us know how they went. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those other sites. And again, thank you for connecting with us. We'll see you next week.